of a single egg cell. There is a long journey ahead of this maturing egg. It will first enter the organ known as the fallopian tube, then travel through this for a long distance and finally reach the mother's womb. Shortly before the mature egg is released from the ovary, the fallopian tube gets ready to catch it. With sensitive movements, it tries to locate this egg cell on top of the ovary. As a result of this search, the fallopian tube finds the maturing egg and pulls it into itself. And the egg's journey has begun at last. The egg is obliged to travel the whole of the fallopian tube. But it has no organelles to help it to do this. No fins or feet, for instance. For this reason, a special system has been created for the egg's journey. Billions of cells on the inner surface of the fallopian tube have been charged with ensuring the egg reaches the womb. These cells position the tiny hairs on their surface, called cilia, so that they lie in the direction of the womb. In this way, they send the egg cell in the correct direction, as if passing a very valuable item from one hand to the next. Consider this for a moment. These tiny hairs are part of a highly intelligent plan and have been situated just where they need to be in just the shape they need to be. All of them together, they perform a carrying motion in a unified direction. If one part of these cells did not carry out their function, or if they performed their function in different directions, the egg would not reach its target and birth could not take place. God's creation, however, is flawless and every cell carries out the task assigned to it without error. In this way, the egg cell progresses straight to the place which is being specially prepared for it, in other words, the mother's womb. Does not man see that we created him from a drop, yet there he is, an open antagonist. He makes likenesses of us and forgets his own creation, saying, Who will give life to the bones when they are decayed? Say, He who made them in the first place will bring them back to life. He has complete knowledge of every created thing. أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ كَفَرْتُمْ بِهِ مَنْ أَضَلُّ مِنْ مَنْ هُوَ فِي شِقَاقٍ بَعِيدٍ فَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآثَاقِ وَفِي أَنْفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى